Peter Kush, how you doing this day? How you doing today? Hello, I'm thank fine, you. thank you. Nice oh, you've got you. One Piece behind you. Oh, yeah, I sure do. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm like, so I'm really good friends with Taz Skyler. And that's all I needed to hear today. <laughs> so, uh, Terrell here, Big Gold Belt Media. Uh, had an opportunity to, to watch the show. Super intense. Uh, I, I could, couldn't put food down for a little while after watching it. Um, my, my, so my question to you guys, uh, definitely Peter Kush, um, for people that haven't seen this, uh, what would you say they, you know, without spoilers, to expect, like, you know, the reason they should go in to watch this? Um, well, I think it's a, it's a, a thrilling crime drama, which also uh, reflects the cost to individuals uh, for, for being involved in these kind of stories. I mean, these are w- w- one of the reasons we wanted to do it was because these detectives, uh, at the end of the episode, they're not okay. Mm. You know, in most shows, you know, at the end of the episode, that everyone goes back to life as normal. That doesn't happen to us. Yeah, I think that we both thought we want to play people that have ghosts, that have scars, that have um, are not polished and perfect at the end. And what happens if you're working in an institu- institutional framework, but your um, your gut instincts and your human side are sometimes leaping out and taking you too far over the edge? I mean, this show gives you another reason not to trust police, right? Like, it's, it's always a, just a long list. Yeah. Because, uh, uh, you know, you, you, you go through some some physical uh, some physical stuff in this show. Uh, you know, some of the scenes kind of t- tough to watch. Uh, what what was, like, what, what got you into that, you know, to get you right, for, especially particularly that that scene uh, where you had to go one-on-one? Like, what, what got you uh, either mentally together, physically together for that scene? I am um, I am a big fan of physical work. I love doing as much of stunts as I can, and I, I do a lot of theatre. Um, I actually yeah, I worked with Taz on that Hamlet where he was, like, beating me up on that. But um, I think that um, you obviously have to prep a lot physically and with your team, but also this is a show that has really dark themes. We're dealing with with some things that are dark, but they are things that are real. And so you have to kind of, like look after yourself in that way mentally and emotionally but um mainly these scenarios are very technical and you piece them together piece by piece and then you put the emotion on top of it but it always would take me a little while to recover um, from them because obviously we shoot these things over and over and over again so and i did do some physical things yeah i mean that crime scene ribbon yeah. You know, when you lift the crime scene ribbon. <laughs> and, and you, you sit down through. and you get up quite a lot as well. I jumped out of a car. You jumped once. out of a car. You lifted quite. the tea at one point. That's right. Yeah. But the crime scene ribbon is. How did you prepare for the crime scene ribbon? I practiced at home. I actually, to be honest, that was one of my most enjoyable moments. <laughs> See, I've never done that before. And I've seen cops do that. Yeah, you, you did just walk like... up, you go, what? This is yeah. what I got this. I got this. Uh, Peter, uh, you know, definitely, you know, want to hone in on you for a second. Um, not to say, you know, that you always play cops, but you seem to do a really good job of playing, uh, uh, you know, a really good job in the cop world. Um, what, what is it, what is it that like draws you back to this particular role where I don't want to say you're being yourself, but like, you're, you're like the stoic cop that's like, man, I just, I just want to retire. I got one, one more year left. I think that's just an absolutely compelling role you know the idea that you're just somebody who's seen the idea that you're wise enough to have seen all the shit that there is in the world and all the bad stuff that there is in the world and that you're still here and you're still kind of doggedly trying to make a difference but you know it's you know it's you, 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 the world is against you is 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 enjoyable you know it's it's uh he, he's realistic you know in the sense that he, he's quite bruised um and I, I, I just find those those kind of characters quite compelling. Well, look, I, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for doing this with me today. I really appreciate you. I hope we can do this again in the future. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for talking to us. Thank you. Yeah. See you later.